better set pieces than they have done in the last two or three games. They've not really troubled the opposition. Ball floated into the back post, oh. headed! Oh, it's off the line! As the ball bounces around, it's eventually cleared by Gateshead. Fantastic header from Andre Burley, who rose highest. And I think, I think it's Richardson on the line who's just got a head to it, and he's headed it onto the crossbar. I'm not sure how, quite how he's, he's headed it at the angle. Wow, it's really, really good. really good from Gateshead. Corner to Gateshead then, and a uh, uh, ball into the penalty area, and City struggling to clear it, and it's in the back of the net. And Gateshead have taken the lead. A bit of a scramble from the corner, and City failed to uh, clear their lines. And it is that man, Marcus Denanga, who's looked a real handful so far in this first half, and he's fired Gateshead in front. Oxford City nil, Gateshead one. Yeah, the ball across the uh, goal was hit with such fu furiosity, it just hit a, a player, and that's all he really needed to do, because as soon as it... Will be a bright, bright change for Ross Jenkins. I think if we saw anything, that hour mark change against Hartlepool, but I'll, I'll pause myself as here comes Gateshead down the right-hand side. Lofthouse is on here, Lofthouse across goal, tap in for Denanga, and that's as easy as you like for Gateshead, 2-0. And it was almost too simple in the end as the ball was played down the right hand side to Lofthouse, just lifted his head up, found in anger unmarked in the six yard box, played it across to him, and it was a simple tap in for the striker who scored his 11th goal of the season already. And Gates said, go 2 0 up at the Raw Charging Stadium. Yeah. yeah. I think they have gone to a back four. Lewis Coyle left back, Canis Carroll and Lewis Mitchell the centre halves, and Andre Burley moving out to the right as a right back. Potter just shoulders off his man he's one-on-one -on -one here Alvi Potter good save from Archie Mayer and it's taken 62 minutes in this game but when Archie Mayer has been called into action he's made a solid uh, a solid save to deny Alfie Potter did everything right there Potter did well to out muscle his man and keep his composure to send a shot towards goal but Mayer did well to get down quickly former but Austrian Bundesliga player under 18 under 19 Austrian international and uh, he's got uh, a bit of time and that's a terrible mistake and mess in the back what on earth happened there the ball was should have been dealt with and and greg ollie just tapped in a terrible mistake andy and uh, it's now three nil well the next goal would have been absolutely massive and that was a catalogue of errors they've done that so well all evening gate said just press their men and they just City are trying to do the same, they're trying to play it out, they always have done, but the angles weren't expansive enough and Gateshead have made them pay. Gateshead in the ascendancy uh, again and it's with Hannon into the penalty area, gets himself onto the right foot and it's hit the post, the far post and it's curled away from the goalkeeper Chris Haig and it's gone out of play for a goal kick and another really swift uh, counter-attacking move and that was very nearly 4-0. Yeah, Hannon's got his head in his hands because, well, that was a fantastic shot, really. I mean, Mister and uh, Gateshead attacking in numbers again with the two substitutes up there. But this time, Williams Michelle comes away with the with the ball and tries to thread Josh Parker through, and Parker will chase this one down and get the ball and look to get into the penalty area. He's got the the, the substitute Rennie Smith in there, but he opts to go back to Coyle. Coyle into Nia Kirby. Kirby shape for a shot from distance and a beaten away from the goalkeeper and a sort of follow-up from the substitute Rennie Smith is into the arms of the goalkeeper a shot on target I guess but uh, goalkeeper Archie Mayer dealt with the first shot and then uh, the shot the, the, the rebound that came in comfortably held and uh, the 55 Gateshead fans will uh, make the long journey back up the uh, M1 and the A1M very very happy after this performance and so they should Hunter does a little one-two with Ollie. Back to Hunter. Hunter gets the ball across to the substitute, Connor McBride. And it's as easy as you like. More really good passing. And Connor McBride has drilled the ball into the bottom corner. And it's Oxford City nil, Gateshead four. Like we were saying before, difficult night for Oxford City. But Gateshead have been on form this evening. And again, when they get to that final third, they're playing the ball around the City defenders quickly. Uh, and, and easily and just a few moments as I was saying uh, saying to you Kieran if they did get a fourth I don't necessarily think there could be too many complaints I, I 